what's good bro uh, i want to welcome you to the top Bob podcast what's up what's up what's good bro uh first thing i want to ask you if you could just let everybody know uh where you're from where you grew up and how it was in the area that you were at when you were growing up i'm originally from birmingham alabama but i used to live in norfolk virginia i grew up there in virginia i mean it was pretty cool you know you know i had a good upbringing you know, it was very fun, you know, you know, so yeah. Perfect. So um, in your area and as a kid growing up, uh, what kind of music was being played around you as a child? And what were you hearing outside of the streets? And then also, what did the music become once you got uh, control of your of your own ox court? Um. Music I grew up on, you know, 90s R&B, you know, Music Soul Child, Maxwell, Kirk Franklin, Fred Hammond, Chris Brown, um, Usher, um, Gerald Levert, Luther Vandross. Yeah. Um, I remember when I was in middle school, um, my mom, she gave me like this big CD case thing with with nineties R and B and gospel CDs and stuff like that. You know, um, you know, you know, I, I I can remember just listening to music, Soul Child, Maxwell, a lot of different old school artists. You know, you know, yeah. Now far as producing beats and stuff I've been producing beats since middle school I remember in the 8th grade one of my friends her name was Shanice I guess she heard me singing or whatever and she was like Justin you got a gift you need to do something with it and, and, and she was talking about putting a band uh, a band together so I was like, yeah, I'm with it, you know. And then, you know, in the ninth grade, Shanice was like, Justin, we need to go ahead and get this band up and running. I'm like, oh, okay. And then I asked my friend Chris if he wanted to be a part of the band. So, yeah. But now I'm an independent artist. I'm a singer, songwriter, piano player, producer, and engineer. And I do have a manager who manages me as an artist. His name is Stephen Cobra. He's my pastor, and he's one of my family members. A lot of the opportunities and stuff that I've been getting, he's prophesied to me, and it has came to pass. Everything that he has told me, it has came to pass. You know, you know I've just been watching God open up doors for me left and right. Yeah, that's a beautiful thing, bro. Um, yeah, that that's what I was coming into next. Um, you touched on it a little there. Um, so your style, right? It's it's a alternative, like an alternative R and B, which is you know, um, you can't really put your music in one box. Um, talk about your style and um the way you go into making music. Um, just just talk about your process of like 
get into the booth and and how you make that kind of alternative R and B style music. Well, my style of music, you know, I do different genres of music, but mainly R and B and gospel. See, you can't you 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 can't put me in no box. Yeah, See, I know how to take the strangest sounds and make them sound like melodies. Like I can take a sound from Thailand. And I can I I can take a sound from France and make it cohesive, you know. I can make it fit together, you know. Um, you know, far as me creating music and producing beats and stuff, you know, I make music on how I feel, you know. I make music of creativity and of emotion, you know, you know, whatever experiences I've experienced or whatever the case may be, I know how to make music off of that too, you know? Yeah. Yeah, no, it's definitely a beautiful, you you have a beautiful voice. Um, and I really, enjoyed, it, bro. yeah, I really enjoyed your music. Um, I discovered you from your song Reality Freestyle, and then I went into your catalog a little bit. Um, let's talk about your last two drops. Just in uh, 2023, you've already dropped two albums. Um, for I Believe, and then 1996, The Star Was Born Part 2. Uh, talk about your, worth eth your work ethic right now, especially this year, putting out multiple albums. I know you put uh, another album out last year, the year before that. Uh, talk about your work ethic. How are you talking yeah. out this much music? Well, all I all I do is work. You know, I work two jobs, and then afterwards, I, I just be hooking up beats, recording music, and stuff. You know, you know, I I have so much music that's unreleased; it's not even funny. <laughs> yeah, I bet. You know, you know. You know, like like when it comes to creativity and stuff like that, oh, trust me, I, I'll be cooking up some beats and recording. Yeah, so you, you talked about it a little uh, when we first started talking about, you know, uh, you kind of got together with your friends, made a group, started making music. Uh, when did you get the confidence yourself to split off and become an independent artist? And also, um, when was... When did you get the confidence in yourself to drop publicly for the first time? Because there's a big difference between, you know, making music at home or with your friends. But once you drop it publicly, anybody in the whole world could say whatever they want about it. Well, I've been an independent artist since 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 my senior year of high school. And I remember me and my manager, he he was like, Justin, you need a manager because I was getting so many opportunities thrown my way. He was like, Justin, he he was like, Justin, you need a manager. And and I asked him, I was like, Well, you I I, I asked him, I was like, Well, you'll be my manager. He was like, Yeah. And, 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 and yeah, I talked to my mom about it and everything. So yeah, you know. You know, everything that my pastor has prophesied to me, it has came to pass, you know? Yeah, talk about that. You keep, you keep mentioning that, right? Um, talk about the role you think that God has for you and over your career so far. I keep God first. You know, I love God because, you know, without God, I'm nothing, and, and and God is truly the one who will really have your back. You know, you know, to me, I don't care what happens in my life. Long as I have a relationship with God, that is all that matters to me. You know, um, you know, you know, like I said, I've been watching God open up doors for me left and right. You know, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So talk about. Talk about your pastor being your manager. How how's that how's that relationship and how important is that person to you uh musically? My pastor, he's my manager and he's one of my family members. 
you know, you know, me and him are very close. Like, like, like the stuff I don't talk about with anybody. I talk to him about it and, and the stuff I don't tell nobody or whatever, he knows about it. You know, you know, it's like, you know, with my pastor, you know, I can talk to him about anything, you know, you know, there are certain things I don't talk to other people about that me and him talk about, you know, cause first off we're grown and second of all, I just don't go around running my, running my mouth, you know? Yeah, no, that that's a good quality to have. You know, you know, I, I thank God for my pastor, you know, and he's my manager. Yeah, how how important is is him being your manager for you personally? It's very important because, you know, I trust him. You know, he do right by me and I do right by him. Yeah, that's great. I think trust within your management or people on your team is, is definitely the most important thing. Um, talk about some of your influences musically. Um who who would you say influenced you to make the kind of music you're making today? I'm a big fan of Music Soul Child, Maxwell, Chris Brown, Molly Music, Kirk Franklin, Fred Hammond. Um um Daniel Caesar. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's a great that's a great list, bro. Um, obviously you're an independent artist, right? Uh, on side. Yeah. Um, what do you think you need most personally to take your music career to the next level? Well, I just need somebody that's going to take, you, you know, take me to the next level. You know, the other day, my pastor, he prophesied to me, he was like, Justin, there's going to be somebody that's going to take you by the hand and take you to the next level, you know, concerning my music. And, and, and a couple of weeks ago, right before I released my EP called 1996, A Star Was Born, I sent all the songs to my manager, you know, to let him listen to it. He called me back that same night. He was like, oh, 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 everybody finna know Justin. He even told my mom, he was like, Everybody finna know Justin. Justin is finna be known all over the world. That that's a huge statement. Um, and that I think that's great that he has that most, you know, that much confidence in you. And and I think that's actually important that you believe what he tells you. Um, the Bible I, says, "Believe a prophet, and so shall ye prosper." Yeah, no, I, I agree with that a hundred percent. Um, so I ask everybody who comes on the podcast, this, no matter how famous the artist or producer is, or no matter how underground, if you could have three dream features from any artist, any genre, dead or alive, who would they be? Um, three dream features. Um, and not, not on one song, just in general. Well, just in general, um, uh, I would say, um, uh, B.O.B. Um, um, Ty Tribute. Um, who else? Who else? Uh, who else? Dang. Um, Daniel Caesar. Yeah, that's that's a great choice. Um, yeah. Where do you personally... Um, where do you see your career a year from today? Oh, I'll I'll definitely be doing shows, tours. You know, you know, you know. I'm finna be known all over the world. You know, everybody finna know me. You know, I I I can definitely see myself doing tours, shows, going over to Europe, you know, to foreign countries, you know, 
you know, I, I can definitely see myself, you know, doing those things, you know, because I want my fans to see me perform live, you know, you know, you know, because when you're in front of millions and billions of people, you know, you know, you really got to be able to put on a show. And I know how to put on a show for real. Yeah, that's dope, bro. And I, I love that confidence. Um, so let's let's talk about your two albums, right? You dropped this year. Um, for I Believe album in 1996, A Star Wars Born Part Two. Um, what's your strategy personally going into an album? Do you do you want the do you want the fans to listen from the first song to the last song in order? Or is it kind of just the best shit you have at the time? Well, all my songs are hits. So when when it comes to me making an album, you know, I pretty much like to take my time. You know, um, even when I do the cover art, you know, I, I, I always want to make sure that everything fits together. Like, you know, you know, you know, what song goes first, what song goes second, you know, I, I just like to make everything fit together. And then, you know, when it comes to my fans listening to my music, you know, you know, when I do the pre-orders, you know, before the actual album is released, I put out the the song that I know people really going to gravitate towards. You know, you know, like I said, all my songs are his, you know, but it's certain songs that's going to really, you know, have people gravitate towards those songs. Yeah, no, that's a great strategy. Um, do you, what's next for you? Um, what can your fans expect next from you? Let's say in the next couple months or anyone who watches this and discovers you through this interview, what can they look forward to? Well, just know I'm going to be doing shows, tours. I'm going to be putting out more music. You know, you know, now that I'm going to be known all over the world, you know, I definitely want my fans to expect me doing shows, tours. And then merchandise is going to be coming soon. So, yeah. Yeah, that that's that's awesome, bro. I'm really looking forward to see uh what kind of merch uh you come up with and put out to the public. Um, so before we get out of here, bro, let everybody know where we could find your music. Uh, if you just want to spell out your name for everybody and uh where they can find you on social media and the streaming platforms, and also uh if there's anything you want to say to your fans and uh anyone who's gonna be watching this. All right. Okay. Um. My name is Justin Williams, J-U-S-T-I-N-W-I-L-L-I-A-M-S. That's that's my name on all streaming platforms. If you're looking for my music, that's my name, Justin Williams, my regular name. Um, far as my social media, I'm on Facebook. My Facebook name is J Deshaun Williams, J Space. D E S H A U N space Williams. I'm on Instagram. My Instagram name is Jada Producer. I'm on Twitter. My 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 Twitter name is J D D A P R O D U C E R. J D Producer. Um, my Snapchat is Justin underscore Willie fifty seventy five. Yeah, if there's anything you want to say to to your fans uh, or anybody that's going to discover you through this, the mic's yours, brother. Um, well, first off, I want to give a big shout out to God because, you know, like I said, without him, I, w w without him, I'm nothing. And I definitely want to thank my pastor. And, and I want to give a big shout out to my mom. You know, she she took really good care of me, you know, you know. You know, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, what's your pastor's name? My pastor and is what, Stephen what, what, Colbert. 
Stephen Colbert. What church is that associated with? Holy Foot, Holy Footsteps of God in Christ. And where is that located? We're on the prayer line, but you know it's originally in Dallas, Texas. I live here in Fayetteville, Georgia. But my manager, he lives in Dallas, Texas. That's great. Um, it's it's been great having you on. Uh, it was an honor to get to know you. Uh, through the interview. Uh, I'm sure your fans are going to enjoy this. And for everyone that watches this, I really urge them to go check your music out. Uh, really unique style with, um, you know, putting alternative R&B and also soul music and um, just all in one. I, th I think your voice is great. I love listening to your music. I really appreciate, appreciate you coming on the podcast. And uh, if there's anything that I could do for you, bro. Please let me know. I'd love to uh I'd love to help. Appreciate it, bro. No doubt, bro. You have a great day. Be safe. Uh 